guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my April 2018 book haul as well as the April page habit unboxing. First up, I have Practical Magic by Nikki Van de Kar, and this is basically just like a beginner's guide to crystals, horoscopes, psychs, psychics, and spells. It's a nonfiction, and it just talks about spells and crystals and tarot cards. And so, if you're into that, I would recommend checking this one out. I read it, and I did talk about it a bit more. But yes, I bought this book. It's super cool. Up here I have Past Tense. I heard about this one at the event that I went to so I decided to pick it up. Um, it's basically how do you live after death and it says Julie is an average girl with average problems. She's been in love with her best friend but life gets more complicated when Julie comes home to find her mother insisting that her heart is gone so it becomes clear Julie's mom believes that she has died. It sounds really weird. I don't know what to expect, but when they talked about it at the event, I, it sounded really cool. So next up here, I have the little book of witchcraft, which I just bought randomly. And it's literally what it says. I haven't read this one yet, but I'm looking forward to doing so. I got some arcs, which I don't know too much about some of these. But first I requested um, Wild Blue Wonder by Boris. I'm going to butcher that. There's the name. Um, so this is basically last June, the summer camp Quinn's family owns. And Maine was a magical place, a place where wild blueberries grew no matter the season. A legendary sea monster looked in the waters and Quinn fell in love with her best friend Dylan. Then the accident happened. Now it's wonder the magic has drained from Quinn's life and she knows it's her fault. But the new boy in town, Alexander, doesn't see her as the monster she believes herself to be. As Quinn lets herself open up again, she begins to understand the truth about love, loss, and monsters real and imagined. It sounds amazing. I'm super excited for it. It comes out on June 6th, June 18th. So I'm hoping to read this one too. Like really soon and thank you to HarperCollins Canada or HCC Frenzy for sending this my way I really appreciate it to an event which I talked about in one of my update videos but it was for it was the HCC Frenzy event in downtown Toronto so I ended up picking up three arcs um, they gave them out in a bag um, so it came with invisible ghosts what's past is passable sometimes a love story meets a ghost story oh yeah it's by Robin Schneider. Um, this one I probably will read. I'm not like thrilled for it, for the release or anything, but this one comes out on June 18th. A lot of books come out on June 18th, by the way. Then I also have The Bird and the Blade, Three Impossible Riddles, One Dangerous Secret, also comes out on June 18th. And this is a lush, powerful story of life and death, battles and riddles, lies and secrets from debut author. I think it's also like historical fiction slash fantasy-esque, if I remember correctly from the event. It sounds cool. I don't know if I'll read this one like before release date, but it's cool to have. And then the one I'm really excited for is Fat Girl on a Plane. And this is about a girl who um, has her own fashion blog. She scores a trip to New York City and she has to buy a second seat on the plane because of her weight. And she arrives in the city to find that she's been replaced by the boss's daughter, a girl who's everything she's not ultra thin and super rich. She really, she's always had the power to make her own dreams come true. And it just sounds really interesting. And it's a debut body positive like it's going to be about body pos positivity and body image and i'm just really excited to read this one and see how it is this one comes out on june 5th next up i hear i have two books that i bought myself and that is simon versus the homo sapiens agenda because i wanted my hardcover copy and because i did have a paper i have i have a paperback which is signed and i just wanted this so then i could have all three books matching and this book is about Simon who I'm pretty sure you know what it's about but it's about this boy named Simon who is 16 years old and has yet to come out as gay so when he starts emailing some someone anonymous and like have building a relationship with this person someone else sees the emails and blackmails Simon to helping him out or else he'll tell everyone that he's gay and that's what the story's about amazing adorable love it then Lee on the Offbeat just came out as well. So this is amazing. I'm really excited about this. It's like a companion-esque to Simon. It's about the character Leah that is in this universe, in this book. I'm excited to read it. I haven't read it yet. I've heard it's good. That's all I know. <laughs> also at the event that I went to with HCC Frenzy, they gave out Here So Far Away by Hadley Dyer. I actually got this signed and she was super sweet. And this is a contemporary novel and it's about, I feel like I should know, but it was a while since the event. I know it's a coming of age story and it's a contemporary book with brilliant humor and heartbreaking truth. It tells a story of finding love in the road back from unthinkable loss. So 
Yes, that was a really sucky description, but yes, that was really cool. Penguin Random House sent me an Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night, which these are the first two books and a fantasy series. You probably remember like the old cover for an Ember in the Ashes because that was really big like a few years ago, but they had a cover change and they sent these my way. So thank you so much to them. But this these are a slave a soldier neither is free it's like the basic fantasy premise sort of but i've heard these are amazing i actually used to own the hardcover of an ember in the ashes but i unhauled it a long time ago just because fantasy usually isn't my thing personally but since i have these now i'm probably going to give an ember in the ashes a shot but along with this they also sent the little preview card for the little free preview sampler for a reprint at the gates which is the third book which comes out on june 12th so thank you so much to them that was super cool and really unexpected and next here i have the poet x by elizabeth acevedo acevedo ace Fedo. okay this um i know is about a poet and it's told in verse and this was in the page habit box last month so yeah i opened it and talked about it in that video now i really want to open the page habit box that i currently have plus my camera is dying and it's just lovely i'm literally cutting the box not the tape okay yes oh my god i see socks yes okay so first up here we have and by the way i am a page habit ambassador so if you use my link you i mean if you use my code or my link or whatever if you use the code julia it's all, all that information is down below but you can get ten dollars free shipping in the u.s or ten dollars off international shipping and it just helps me out so thank you if you're if you feel like signing up for page habit then might as well so we have a note from the author we have a poem by lily bollinger that's different i didn't expect this one is gorgeous look at it and it says to learn to read is to is to light a fire every syllable that is spelled out is a spark victor hugo it's gorgeous then we have this month's picks our donation this month was burundi burundi i don't know if that's right oh my god this is a slim folding book lamp and this is perfect this this is everything i'm gonna use this all the time great we have some socks book socks which is pretty cool and also they are calling all writers so you can like su submit your work if you're an author and stuff you can submit your work and they might publish your book in a box kind of thing it's very new but really cool oh there's this little guy is this an eraser what is this i don't know what this is but it's cute and then we have the book and it comes with these cards which is pretty cool they're really pretty so the book is a fantasy fantasy book is this why fantasy is this the why fantasy why what? yeah this is the why pick so this is dread nation i've never heard of this in my life <laughs> look inside for my annotations. So of course it comes annotated. If you're not familiar with Page Habit, they do annotate their books. The author does. Um, this is, was born two days before the dead began to walk the battlefields. The war between the states and changing the nation forever. In this new America, safety for all depends on the work of a few and law, where race, humanity, and survival meet. So that sounds really interesting. And I haven't heard of this before, which is really cool because usually I can kind of guess the book or like I usually have some idea, but this was a total surprise, which is really cool. So thank you so much to Page Habit for signing this over to me. I really appreciate it. And I really do love Page Habit's boxes and that light is probably my favorite thing. I'm going to be using that. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah.